Hey guys, first fan of the night. Uh, it's just me here at the barn, which is unusual. It was supposed to be a project night, but um, some things happened and it turns out it's just me. So I'm gonna see what I can get done. This is a baby Sidewinder. I don't know the exact era on these. I'm gonna guess 20s. Uh, I suppose the, the original Sidewinders date as early as 1912, I think is the patent date. Uh, and I'm not sure when they were discontinued, sometime in the 20s probably, when Westinghouse started introducing other styles. <clears throat> I've had this for years. It was in the back of my garage. And um, shortly after I moved into that house, I went on a road trip and picked this up and put it, you know, on one of the shelves in the garage, like when I first started putting shelves in the garage. And it just got buried by other fans and I always figured I'd get around to it. Well, today we're supposed to be doing a project uh, where this actually would be necessary. And if you don't know what that project is, go to patreon.com slash dspiffy. There will probably be previews there by the time this project is up. Excuse me, by the time this video is up. And if there are not um, previews there, then if you are a Patreon member, you can request them and I'll post them. Um, those videos uh, of the previews of what projects we're working on uh, will eventually become public, but this test video will probably be public first. And, um, and so again, if you wanna see all of the happenings uh, early, patreon.com slash dspiffy. Um, that's where I'm going to be posting. Also, I'm going to be posting behind the scenes stuff that's never public. Uh, so you're going to get to see a lot of really interesting and cool stuff you wouldn't get to see otherwise if you join there. Um, it costs a nominal fee, like either three, six, or nine dollars a month. And as of right now, I've only been posting stuff that everybody can see. So even the three dollars is supposed to be just like for discussions and you can't see the videos. I've been letting everybody see the videos. Um, so um, there's that. Here's this fan, and uh, we will see how this does on the test rig. It's gonna go up regardless, because where it's gonna go, it doesn't need to be an exceptional performer. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, uh, let's do zero to high. We got bypass, yes, cap, yes. Pete's test rig's a little different than mine. Let's keep an eye on it. Big in rush, I'm gonna say, but that's common. That's shaded pole, you know it's gonna be big. Okay, goes up to two amps, which is not crazy for shaded pole, but it is a lot for such a small fan. This is technically, I think, 32 inches. That's what she said. It's got a pull chain. Um, the pull chain is kind of hard to, uh, it's very short. Like you can just barely grab the end of it. Um, that's what she said. And uh, it, looked, it, it looked like a three speed pull chain when I opened it up to fix it, but I'm only getting one speed, so which would make sense for a fan like this. You wouldn't expect this to have uh, multiple speeds for a you know single tiny fan. By the way, the short down rod with no canopy was how I got it. Some guy had had it in his garage probably since he bought it new. The guy looked ancient, um, so this was his garage fan, and that's how he installed it. It's obviously um, creating a great airflow. 0.74. So power factor one. No, actually, two thirds. My math is off. Point. Oh, we're still dropping. Bearings are a little noisy. Again, it doesn't really matter where we're gonna hang it. It's not somewhere where the noise matters. Um, I did put my usual bearing treatment for, for antiques in there, which is a combination of 30 weight oil and WD-40. Um, I'm looking to see how it's gonna perform on the spin down. Uh, the blades were pretty mangled. I bent them back and I'm actually really impressed at how nice they look, um, how like non-wobbly it is. Yeah, this bearing seems to be doing okay. And like I said, I'm probably gonna hang it just like it is with um, uh, with the little stubby down rod. You'll see in that video. And again, that video will be public eventually, um, but if you want to see it ahead of time. Um, so far, what I've mostly been, I posted a couple behind the scene things. That we only got, well, I just started the Patreon. So, um, yeah, it's still pretty stiff on stopping. Um, just started the Patreon, so there's only like four or five people there last I checked. Um, but I've been posting a lot of previews, a lot of early stuff, like sneak previews, and a couple behind the scenes things. So, okay, I'm gonna use Pete's method. He just hits the 10 switch. Nothing. So,
Okay, well, let's go back. Okay, well, let's go back. I'm also having trouble determining if the oil's getting where it needs to go because of the way this is built. And I don't want to take it all the way apart if I don't have to. So here's 15. Okay, so 15 starts it. What? Can't possibly be going on five. Is it air flowing here? What in the world? I don't understand what's happening with the ghost. 10 switch. Okay, so now it's starting on 10. So let's, we must have had a rough spot in the bearings. So here's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, it budged, 15 budged. 16 is going to go. Yeah, that's a real rough spot. And that's not bad, actually. You know, you can't... You, it's hard, you shouldn't expect an aesthetic low on shaded poles. It's not how they're made. Uh, it's getting a little fast. So we'll let it run on high. I'll put some more WD-40 in it, and I'll let it run on high for a while. And um, that's still not a bad shaded low. 17. 18. 19. 20. So you could actually get a range of speeds on this thing, even with the bearings being rough. Because even if you just went between 15 and 20, you got a range. 20. 21. 22. 23. Getting close. 24. 25. Over. Yeah, I think if I were to make it a three speed, I'd do 15 and 20, unless I can get the bearings freed up a little more, which again, I'm not even sure the oil's getting where it needs to go. <clears throat> so, um, I'm either gonna have to take it apart, which I don't wanna do, I wanted this to be just like a throw it up sort of situation, because if I was gonna take it apart, I'll put a new bearing in it. And then that becomes a weak, multi-week project because I have to order the new bearing, which unless somebody can tell me the part number for the bearing, means I have to take it to a bearing shop and they measure it and then they order me the bearing and you know I feel like the oil is definitely working its way in because look at that spin down it's a lot better than when we started but I bet you it'll still hit a rough spot now it doesn't really matter how it does on the solid state because it, it can be noisy where it is and it's probably gonna end up on a solid state anyways um, I also feel like solid state controls are kind of extra protection when you're working with antiques because, wow, El Stapo. Because, um, ooh. Because if, some, if the motor gives you, so like let's say I have the fans running and nobody's here, okay? If the motor starts to fail, at some point the control will fail, solid state. Whereas with a capacitor type control, yeah, that's the rough spot right there because I've got almost all the way to high. Let's just get past that rough spot. It's got a little solid state noise for sure. With all the other noises here, I can't actually tell how loud it is, but it doesn't matter for the sake of this video. I guess I could go and shut the, uh, shut the heater off, but 
it's very cold in here and I'd rather I don't know Pete's got his own system with the smaller heaters I'd rather not deal with those so I'm just running the big heater and yeah eighth of a turn Now, I am going to suspect, I'm going to suspect that this is both Rick and Metal. Rick likes antiques, and this is a particularly cool little example of an antique. I think he also tends to like more utilitarian antiques versus flowery ornate ones. Uh, and Metal Pete just likes fans that are powerful and move good air, so I, I bet you anything that this is both Rick and Metal. Um, yeah, that's all we can do. So I'm gonna run some more WD-40 through it and then let it run on high uh, until it's time to hang, or at least assuming it gets hung tonight. If it doesn't get hung tonight, then um, I'll run it on high until I leave, and then I'll run it on high some more another time. Um, you get the idea. That spin down's getting pretty good though, so I feel like we're making some progress. Um, so yeah, the next time you see this, uh, assuming things go well, the next time you see this, it'll be um, up in a video, and you'll see that a lot sooner if you're on Patreon. Um, so let's thank our sponsors, patreon.com slash dspiffy, fanstick, lightstick, taco burrito Mexico, and our new sponsor, the Good Manufacturing Company. Why settle for anything else when it can be good? So. Uh, thanks for watching, and please uh, support our sponsors. And the way you can do that is to buy Fanstick.